We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stepping in, Rowdy Tellers. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 2-2. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. Guriel. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. To Oscar Hernandez would be next. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Segura behind on a one and two count. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. One out, nobody on. Here's a bouncing ball and a chance for Guriel. It's short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Here's Bryce Harper now. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, so that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And it's one and two. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That's Digging in, Bo Bichette. The second baseman. Bo Bichette. A 1 1. It swung on and missed for strike number two. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The two-two. Liner in there for a base hit. That is good. The white fielder, number 15. At the plate, Rendell Richard. Out ball in two strikes now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The catcher, 
Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Count remains two and two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He's got it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. Real Muto. Now the three and two pitch. Is swung on and missed. He got him. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. McKinney gets his lead at first, nobody out. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Coming to the plate now, Rowdy Tellers. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Kingery camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the third now. So next to the plate for the Phils, Nick Williams. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. This is line to left. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Scott Kingery. Now the three and two pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the pitcher strides into the batter's box here, Zach Wheeler. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. No changeup, and that fades down and away, two and two. Softly hit toward the hole. Oh, 
and he can't come up with it. The flip of the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Digging in to try it again. Lourdes Gurriel comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's no nice bad. to see a no low-scoring pitcher's goal for once. Hernandez. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging now in, Bo Bichette. He reached on a single in his first oh. try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Rendell Gritchick would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for a base hit. His second in as many trips to the plate. Now batter, the right fielder, Randall. In now, Rendell Gritchick. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So it's back to the top of the order now and that'll bring in the middle infielder Gene Segura. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Digging in now for Philadelphia Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, two balls, one strike. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. And Bryce Harper will dig into the play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Another one-two delivery. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Just low that time with the heavy sinker as it's ruled ball three. Three-two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner. And well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Stepping into the box, Reese McGuire. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gregorius with a sliding stop. What a play. Ready now, Billy McKinney. Billy McKinney. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. And there's out number two. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Ryan Barucki. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. A ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. And 
And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1 thus far. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And there's one down now. Into the box now, JT Realmuto, a winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for NL Catchers. Belted high in the air out to left. Looking up is Hernandez. And that one is gone! At the plate now, Didi Gregorius. And that misses two and two. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Nick Williams oh, hit it hard, but lined out in his that's first half bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. To the plate now, Scott Kingery. Fly ball right down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Again, he sends it out of play. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hernandez is in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. The one-two. Sent on the ground out to second. Gregorius is there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ready once again, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. The 3 1. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Into the box now, Lourdes Guriel. Now a changeup is bounced to second, taken in by Gregorius. And there are two away now. And now the Toronto number four hitter to Oscar Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. misses ball two looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone gave up that home run earlier in the inning needs to get back to being aggressive and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning so stepping in Zach Wheeler he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time yeah Matty and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Gene Segura waits on deck. And he misses with it, ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura been a strikeout victim twice in this one. On the ground is short. This could be two. Reined in. 
The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Now batter. Into the box. Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. There's one relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Here's the one and two. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Bo Bichette. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Full count now, three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Slap hard the opposite way. Harper is there to put it away for route number one. So one away now in the Toronto seventh, and the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. To third. Kingery's there. And that's the second out. Digging in, Miss McGuire. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. We join for the traditional So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Now here's the pitch. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now in now, JT Realmuto. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Philadelphia. So two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh, and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. 2-1 pitch as a sinker swung on and missed. 2-2. Two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Jose Alvarez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52. Okay. Stepping up with the plate, Billy McKinney. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Alvarez is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Number and it's fouled away. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. 
the set and the one one and he lays off for a ball two and one the count now at two and two. Even a two and two. The pitch fouled away. The set and the two two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. So now to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll stand alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. And he fouls this one off. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. Two -two. Ball three. Three and two now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. Line drive to left. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. The left fielder. Into the box to Oscar Hernandez. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. Gone! Victor Arano enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Number 64, Victor Arano. Standing in now, Bo Bichette. Hard hit ball to second. Gregorius has it. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Jordan Romano is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now in the box, Nick Williams. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 2 2. Fouled off. The 2 2, one more time. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2 2. Swing and a line drive. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The third baseman, number four, Scott Kingery. In now, Scott Kingery. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Williams is on his way home. He comes across to score as they now trail by only three. Neil Walker will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Neil Walker. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. One away. Gene Segura standing in. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. One and two now.
from the belt. The pitch swung on in the dirt. Strike three. So it's a runner at first with well, two men out. And that will bring two. up the former National Andrew. League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Okay. Now a throw over. And the runner will get back standing. Two runs, four hits. And no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. A 3 1 count to the Phillies' left fielder. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. McKinney is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Hector Neris enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Leading off the inning, Rendell Gritcher as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now Settling in now, Number Reese 10. McGuire. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Two and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first the two men he faces out of the bullpen. Billy McKinney. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Ground ball foul down the left side. Two out, nobody on. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ken Giles comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Stepping up now, Bryce Harper. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Ready with two balls and a strike. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. The 3-2 one more time. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at-bats. The runner at first with no outs here. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now to the plate, JT Realmuto. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at 2 and 2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Runner at first here, one man out. And another foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery throw is too late and there are two on with one away now. At the plate now, Didi Gregorius. 
Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Fouled away. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Up next will be Nick Williams. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Giles sets, trying to work it full on three and one. Hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, it might only be a two-game set, but listen, it's still a sweep. Hey, man, winners make the rules around here, and they earned it. 5-2, the final score tonight. The Jays came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Ryan Barucki earns the win his second as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Ken Giles earns the save out of the bullpen his fifth of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Five runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For Philadelphia, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and six minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.